Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 303, where we've got to clear out 40 jelly and we've got 55 moves to do it. I don't like this level, and the reason is because it's primarily a luck level. You'll see by the number of reshuffles we get and the fact that we've got mystery candies, and mystery candies always mean we're going to rely a little bit on luck. Um, let's see, I'm going to do this to open these guys up. And then it's going to send everything off, and we'll see what happens. Okay, now that was a good bit of luck. I got this um, licorice lock removed. And the chocolate only has a certain number of places to grow, and the chocolate might actually cover over the ticking time bomb. So I got a little bit of help here, but now I still have so much more work to be done. I have to make sure that this gets removed, and I've got to take this out too. And I don't see really... Oh, there, that's a good way to do it. Oops. This is just popping up. Let's get rid of those. Oh, come on, chocolate. Grow that way. Now, instead of just... There we go. Instead of taking out the jelly, I'm trying to take out the barriers. I was also trying to drop the blue in to hopefully get a color bomb here. didn't quite work. But then sometimes I don't have any better options, and so I will go after just the plain jelly. Sometimes I can't even reach the jelly, and that's the nature of this game, that sometimes you just have awful moves. You just take a move and hope that creating a lot of chaos will bring down some specials. Gosh, that was perfectly timed. Uh, because that will happen, I wouldn't say often, but there's a significant chance that it could happen. So you always want to go for that. Um, two different kind of bizarre moves I make. One is to just make chaos on the board and hope that things get created if I can't do anything better. And another is if it looks like I'm running low on good moves, uh, instead of trying to make, make colors match together, I'll try to make sure that the colors don't match together so that I get a reshuffle because sometimes the reshuffle can reset my opportunities. Okay, so now I'm finally getting through most of the barriers, and that means I'm going to see the most significant change in my opportunities arise. The um, chocolate, it's a game of tug-of-war. I make moves against the chocolate. Then there are only a few left, and so I can't reach them. Um, and then they start making moves against me, and then they grow rapidly and then because of that they're everywhere and so it's easier for me to make moves against the chocolate so it's a constant tug of war on a board like this and that's okay we just kind of deal with that and keep moving toward the areas we need to clear out okay now i see where that area is i just need to get to that area here we go a nice stripe draft combo perfect perfect now the thing i want to do is concentrate right around this chocolate spawner and the reason is it's going to keep covering over with chocolate I'm going to have to remember this is the only spot where I need to remove a chocolate the other places are all cleared out now because I have other spots of chocolate on the board the chocolate isn't going to have to come from the chocolate spawner but it's just as likely to come from there as it is anywhere else I'm going to take out all green from the board I'm going to remove a layer of this and concentrate those colors down. Now that I've got an open board, the chances are even greater that that will produce more specials for me. Well, it wasn't awesome, but I still can't get to this blue. But if I take out a chocolate, no new chocolate can form. I feel like I've got so many potential things going on here that just aren't working out right. Let's do this and make some specials. There we go. Okay, so 12 moves, two jelly left. Let's see what we can do. One jelly left. I need to get some blue around here. Maybe. I should be looking everywhere actually. I shouldn't just be focused right over here because sometimes there's a color bomb just kind of waiting around there um, that I'm not going to see if I'm not paying attention to the entire board. So I have to look around for all of my opportunities. Okay, here we go. I'm going to take out the blue so I can do this. 
Alright, so that's how I beat this level. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. If you have any questions, please put those in the comment section. And as always, thanks so much for watching.